Thanks for stopping by, y'all. I hope you're hungry. Are you ready to eat? Because I'm starving. Let's go. Hello. Hi, guys. Welcome back. I know it's been a few days since I posted it. I didn't post my Buffalo Wild Wings uh, mukbang with my daughter like I was supposed to, but we were busy, 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 and we never even actually went to Buffalo Wild Wings. She didn't want to go. I was like, what is wrong with you? It's your favorite place to eat, and she didn't want to go. So we just uh, we went running around the park. We went swimming, and uh, we ordered pizza. So that was fine by me. So anyway, I'm sitting down finally. It is late in the afternoon. So hopefully by the time I get done posting this video, it'll be ready for you guys for dinner time. <laughs> so I have a ginormous rotisserie chicken. So yummy. And also what I have is special that I made. Um, I love making my own sauces. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's sweet, spicy, savory, if it's thick and creamy, if it is buttery and juicy and everything. So what I made today, I just whipped this up out of space. Um, I don't even know where it came from, but anyways, it is butter lemon juice, garlic cloves, brown sugar, sriracha, um, uh, rice wine vinegar, onions, bell peppers, and some sweet fire roasted red peppers. You can see it right there. So I just got the red peppers out of the jar that were already uh, sweetened and peppered and it roasted and everything so I didn't have to do it myself so I just put it on the stove let it cook down a little bit so they're not you know they're not too soft and so soggy oh my god that's so good so when you think it's a little strange with the brown sugar and everything and the sriracha it actually brings out the flavor in everything you can taste the heat, the sweet, the salty, the, the the whole shebang, the whole shebang. So anyway, this is going with my chicken. I'm so excited. I am starving to death too. Um, I don't know why I haven't eaten all day. I've just been busy and preparing and I had to actually go out this morning. Yesterday was laundry day and grocery day, so that's why I didn't do video yesterday and everything got all messed up over the weekend, so whatever. So, I have been dying for this as well. I have my beer. Ooh. Yum. First sip is for you. Mmm. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. I love it. And it's only 2.6 grams of carbs, which is awesome. So, and as we have high protein here, what's not to love about that? It's a healthy meal, right? So anyway, am I cutting myself off again? Because I do that quite often. So how is everybody today? What did you do over the weekend? Is everybody ready for the fourth weekend? And what are you doing to celebrate? Are you going out of town? Are you staying in friends, family? You know, tell me, tell me what's going on in your world. Oh my goodness. So I actually bought this chicken yesterday and I just pulled it out of the fridge about an hour ago. So it kind of gets down to room temperature, but with the uh, heat of the sauce, mmm, look at that y'all. <gasps> Oh, that looks delicious. Totally delicious. And so once again, you hear my um, <laughs> my air conditioner. I can always rely on my old faithful air conditioner for running and being noisy in the background. So being that that sauce is still temperature hot, it's gonna warm up my chicken a little bit. And I should get me a lemon. I'm not always prepared, y'all, so anyway. 
first bite's for you. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. Oh. <clears throat> oh, that sauce has a little kick to it, y'all. Mm-hmm. My daughter thinks I'm crazy. Because I post videos on YouTube. I said, hey, you never know. Somebody might want one of my... One, ah! Somebody might want one of my recipes. I haven't had enough to drink today. Mmm. You know, I have been looking, researching about green screens and stuff like that and different backgrounds. I really don't give a shit about the background. If y'all don't care, I don't care. This is my life. This is my home. This is where I'm at. I like being real. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. And it's messy. Mmm. The sauce is messy. I do need a microphone, though. I do know that. I'm going to get one. So, we normally really don't do anything for 4th of July. I mean that we live in the RV park? We can see fireworks all the time. And from where we live, oh, there's some hairs on there. Ugh, gross. I hate that. Um, from where we live, we can see the fireworks shows that they put on in Fort Worth. So, one leg down. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat this whole bird. I'm going to have to save some for my man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let me see if I can get some, some goodness on there. It might, it's, it's still kind of temperature hot, but... Mmm. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what? The contrast between the cold chicken and the hot dipping sauce. Oh, man. It's so good. It's so good. Mmm. -hmm. I'm losing it, y'all. I'm losing it. Mmm. That was messy. But it's so good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. You want some of that, don't you? <laughs> this is so much fun. I love doing this. I would love to know what y'all think. I watch so many crazy, crazy mukbangs. It's like sometimes I watch them for hours. You know, I get different ideas and stuff like that. And I got me. I got me yesterday the true, real spicy uh, Asian noodles. The ramen noodles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a mukbang on those. And my first video was a spicy ramen, but it was the, uh, the Manchurian with, that comes with the chicken packets. But I didn't put the chicken packet in it. I made up my own spicy sauce for it. I 
parboiled the noodles first and then cooked them the rest of the way on my skillet while I was videotaping. It came out pretty good. I probably could have used more spice on them, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, man. All right. You know what? I'm going to go get me a lemon. Mmm. Mm hmm. It was definitely finger licking good. Way better than, way better than KFC I fucking had the other day. <clears throat> Although I didn't make the chicken myself. Which I do make my own roasted chickens. Whole chickens. My man loves them. Loves, 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 loves my chicken. Thankfully, I uh, I was raised around women who know who knew how to cook, so we never starved. We always ate really, really good. Get in here. There's a wang wang thing thing right there. There's another wang wang thing right there. I don't eat these little feet wangy things on there. <laughs> I'm spewing shit everywhere. Okay, here, let's get this thing in here. Well, let's dip this boy in here. <clears throat> Y'all, this sauce is so fucking good. I wasn't really competent. And how it was going to turn out, I wasn't real sure. But, mm. that's pretty damn good. Save my lemon for my big pieces, y'all. Mm-hmm. So good. Oh, I don't know if I should eat that. It's kind of pink right there. I ain't eating it. I'm real, real, real picky about my food. I don't like it overdone, but I like it to where I know it's cooked all the way. Especially, you know, buying it already pre-made from the store and stuff. I know that their their rotisseries are automatically set and everything, but sometimes you don't know, man. You don't know. Sometimes they might have the timer on wrong or something. I don't know. I just don't trust shit. I trust my food. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Alright. Let me get some lemon. That is delicious, y'all. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's so good. I love cold chicken. I told y'all that the other day when I did my KFC. But it wasn't cold. It was hot. I had just gotten it. <laughs> They're so good. I'm really surprised at that sauce. I'll have to make you guys my... Um, there's a couple of videos down on my channel. I make red sauces and stuff. Like Mexican red sauce. Like enchilada sauce. And green sauces. Ah. <laughs> mm. I 
am making a mess over here. But, I guess if you're not having fun eating, it's not good. Huh. Ain't no good if it ain't fun eating. I love being messy. I used to get after my kids all the time, don't eat with your hands, you know, unless it was like real finger food, like french fries and chicken nuggets and tater tots. I think I was kind of... I'm a hover. I'm a hover, Mom. Mm-hmm. I never wanted to be that mom. And my daughter's 11. Well, she'll be 11 in <laughs> this month on the on the 16th. I still hover over her. She hates it when I baby her, but she don't understand. One of these days, I'm not gonna be around, and she's gonna miss it. And kids now, they don't they don't understand. They're always tuned in to their their iPads or mini pads. <laughs> <laughs> their iPhones, their Androids, whatever. All the gaming shit. We didn't have that shit when I was a kid. We were outside playing in the damn mud and playing in the rain. Making phones out of cans and string and shit. Walking around. Our our parents just let us go. They were like, get the hell out of here. Nowadays, you can't, you can't let your kids out of your sight. Somebody's going to steal them and kidnap them and it's just cruel. The world has become so cruel. Mm -mm. And because she doesn't live with me, when she's with me on the weekends, <clears throat> I'm like a fucking hawk on that girl because I know she's not being watched when she's over there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not good at all not good like I had her I had her Thursday from 6 to 8 and then I had her Friday until Sunday night and she I told her I wouldn't text her on Sunday you know that way she'd get home and spend time with the other side there and whatever get to bed early so she texted me yesterday she was like <clears throat> I got grounded I was like oh crap already <laughs> and like every other day she's getting grounded but she was like, so I asked if I could text you one real quick question about what was your favorite song from the Backstreet Boys. I was like, what the fuck? Are you dating me or what? <laughs> I'm not that fucking old, but I am really. But I was like, um, and no offense, Backstreet Boys or fans of them. Um, I really didn't like their music and I didn't listen to it unless I had to, like if I was at the skating rink or something like that. <laughs> It's so funny. I was like, uh, sorry, but, uh, I don't like them, and I don't have a favorite song. She was like, uh, oh my god, ow. <laughs> doing, doing that Jimmy Fallon, ow, ow, ow. She does it all the time. It's hilarious. It cracks me up. Cracks me up to no end. She's so funny. Definitely got her own little personality. I love being her mommy. Well, I do have to say, I'm pretty pleased with this chicken. Oh, I got it from um, Walmart. <clears throat> I haven't been to Sam's in a couple weeks. Um, their chickens are like colossal, big ass steroid chickens. I can't eat one of those. They're too big. I can only eat like half a chicken myself. They had smaller ones at Walmart. This is the family size one, and it's it was like 10 times... 10 times bigger than the regular ones that they had. I think the regular ones are like little hens or something because it was like it was teeny tiny so I opted for this one <clears throat> and yeah it's fucking huge It's crazy, y'all. 
so crazy. I love being in the park, but man, sometimes I wish I had a house. The people around here are annoying sometimes. They drive by constantly. You know, visitors and tourists and stuff like that, and the worker people. And it would be nice to have a house in my own yard and privacy, you know? <laughs> Get out in the sun and have a garden lay out, whatever, have a normal workspace where I can do proper videos, <laughs> proper sounds for you guys. I like to hear all that lip smacking goodness. volume is horrible because of this fucking air conditioner. I can't help it, y'all. Would you like a lime with your beer? I know I do. Like I'm squirting it all over the all over the camera. All over my phone. Mmm. Lucky for you, this is my beer, not yours. You're probably going, ew, don't stick your finger in my beer, bitch. <laughs> it's mine. Mmm. <laughs> Do you know how some people are? They don't care. Like, I'm a double dipper all the way. I don't give a shit. If you don't want to be around a double dipper, then you better get your own fucking sauces. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, don't touch my plate of food. If you want something, you ask me first, and then I'll give it to you. Like, I hate it when people do that. They just come over on my plate and take some shit. I'm like, uh, hello? <laughs> it's my food. <sighs> it is so hot here today, y'all. The humidity is whew, through the roof. Like, when I left... The truck said 88 degrees, but the humidity level brought it up to, I would say, about 105. So the heat index is like 105. It's just like, <gasps> when you walk outside, <sighs> it's horrible. It's so gross. It's so gross. This is so good. I just want to keep eating it, but I don't want to overdo it. Look, you got <laughs> I got some of the, the jelly from the chicken because it was cold, remember? It was gross. Mm -mm -mm. But I am getting full. I'm getting full, y'all. I can't eat as much as some of these other bongers, <laughs> whatever they're called, bong muck bongers. And I've seen some of these people put some shit away, like serious. I don't know how they do it. I look at food and I gain weight. I mean, I'm not, I'm not overweight. Oh, maybe I am just a little bit, but I don't care. I try to, I try to maintain stuff. I'm happy with the way that I am, but I still try to maintain and I don't overdo things, you know. Nice. <clears throat> that knife is worthless and I can't talk today for some reason I think because I'm too busy trying to eat and talk at the same time and I probably shouldn't maybe y'all don't want to hear me talk y'all just want to see me eat this damn chicken huh alright I'll tell you the truth though the skin's really not that good cold it's not crunchy anymore it was crunchy yesterday but it's not now it's got good flavor I always get the lemon pepper lemon pepper chicken so <laughs> my man's gonna come home and go what the hell happened to that bird I thought we were having that for dinner oh sorry that was for my video only <laughs> so whatever's left I'll use the carcass for some homemade chicken stock so oh my god what is going on here with this damn thing Get 
of there. Shit. I'm having the hardest time here, y'all. Alright. Alright. One more big dip. One more big dip, y'all. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nope. That is pretty effing good. Alright. <clears throat> I thought I'd be fuller than I really am, but I'm not. But I don't want to overdo it. <laughs> it was a beautiful day. We didn't do shit over the weekend. I mean, we ran around, me and my daughter, but that was about it. Oh, we went to the movies. We went and saw Annabelle Comes Home. Woo! I was highly disappointed. So was she for <laughs> for being eleven years old. There was a couple of jump scares in there, but nothing to write home about. Not to uh, be a spoiler. Warning! Spoiler alert. That's not what you expect. That's for sure. Oh, I'm done, y'all. Two legs, two wings, a breast and a half, a breast and a half, <coughs> and all them veggies in there. Look at that. Look at how much of that stuff I ate. Like, it's gone. It was up to the top. Good shit. Good, good, good. So, I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Be good to yourselves. Make sure you smile and have positive thoughts. Don't let anything unwanted or unneeded, unnecessary <coughs> come into your life because it will just bring on more negative. So make sure that you always think positively and be good to yourself. Be good to your soul. Be good to your world. So, hope you guys have a great night. Wherever you are, whatever time it is, whatever you're eating, thank you for eating with me. Check back again. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell. Hit the bell. Thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you soon.